Lipa, officially the city of Lipa, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Lipa, or simply known as Lipa City, is a first-class city in the province of Batangas, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 332,386 people. It is one of the three cities in Batangas aside from Batangas City and Tanawan. It is located 78 kilometers 48 miles south of Manila and is the most populous city of Batangas. The city is named after a species of tree in the Urticaceae family, Lipa, Dendronide mayaniana, known for the stinging trichomes on its twigs. Lipa City is a major recreational, religious, commercial and healthcare in the province of Batangas. The city is the site of one of the most famous Marian apparition in the Philippines which is the 1948 apparition of the Virgin Mary as Mary, Mediatrix of All Grace. The apparition occurred on the Carmelite Monastery in Lipa. The city is also home to the Fernando Air Base, headquarters of the Philippine Air Force's Air Education and Training Command AETC, known in military circles as the Baguio of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. The Summer Camp of the Air Force of the Philippines. The Southern Tagalog Arterial Road Star, and South Luzon Expressway SLEX, provide access to Batangas City and Metro Manila. Etymology Batangueños from the early years had their settlement in Bombon Lake and began dispersing to other places when the volcano erupted. While a group of people was moving to another settlement area, the image of St. Sebastian was stolen from them and later on was found on a tree called Lipa. People believed that the patron saint wished to name that place Lipa. History The primal composition in the southeastern region of Bombon Lake were elements of the dispersed colonial families founded by Datus Dumingsal and Balkas USA in Tal, Batangas, between the 10th and 13th century AD. These pioneer settlers under the leadership of the fleeing Datu Puti, chief of state of the then mighty Srivijaya Empire, purchased the lowlands from King Marikudo of the mountain province at his kingdom. The purchased lands consisted of Panay in the Visayas and the lowlands in Luzon including Batangas, the 1010 10 Bornean Datus divided among themselves the purchased lands, the Batangas Bay were apportioned among the Dumingsal and Balkas USA clans. It is however subject to conjecture whether the prehistoric Negritos 12,000 to 15,000 years age or the much later waves of Austronesian seafarers from 5,000 to 300 BC were able to settle along the coasts of Batangas into the inner lake region of Tal which was accessible to navigation through the Pansipit River, thus, the possibility of misogenetic marriages and cross-culture among the aboriginal inhabitants, the old settlers and the latter Dumingsal and Balkas USA clans or whether violent wars had been waged between old inhabitants and new colonizers is uncertain too, incontrovertible proofs being wanting. Out of this Bornean tribe of the Dumingsal and Balkas USA clan was born the ancestry of Lipa and as later on their descendants spread out towards Laguna de Bay and Bicol Peninsula. The remains excavated from their ancient settlements in Butong, Tal, Calatagan Bay area and Balayan attest to the fact of their presence in the said site at least in the latter part of the 12th century down to the coming of Goiti and Legaspi in Batangas in 1570. The flourishing trade relations between these early Batangueños with a number of Chinese merchants prior to the Spanish conquest explained the presence of hundreds of Chinese wares from potteries to stonewares and vases of Song Dynasty period to the latter part of the 16th century. In the burial grounds at Calatagan sites of Puling Baka, K. Tomas, Pinagpatian I and II at Butong, Tal Batangas. By origin the early Lipeños were Buddhist in religion and Indian in civilization. With its not infrequent contact with the Chinese traders, the Batangueños have absorbed and been influenced too by China. With the Spanish colonization of the Philippines and the Salcedo conquest of Batangas in 1572, the Lipeños were forced to embrace Western civilization. Spanish rule at the coming of the Spaniards to Batangas in 1570, the Malay settlements along the southern shores of Tall Lake at Tagbacan was inhabited by the warlike descendants of the two Tuk Datus called the Tagalogs. 
In 1605, after Marshal Gabriel de Rivera received the encomienda of Bombon, the Augustinian fathers made Tagbacan the first settlement of the Lipeños and a mission center with the name of San Sebastian, perhaps after the installed patron saint, which continued to the present. The settlement was made a regular municipality in 1702 and a regular parish in 1716 with Fray Diego de Alde as the first curate. With the eruption of Tall Volcano in 1724, the people moved to what is now Looming Lipa, and, again, in 1754, they moved to Belet where they settled for two years until 1756 when they moved inland to the present site obviously for more security from volcanic eruptions. When Don Gallo de los Reyes was the governor solo of Lipa, he introduced the cultivation of coffee. The seeds of the Arabica species were said to be of two chupas brought in from Mexico by an Augustinian missionary. The coffee industry so flourished and made Lipa the richest municipality in the country with an annual income of P4,000,000 that on October 21, 1887 the Queen Regent Maria Cristina, acting for the young King Alfonso XIII, signed a decree elevating Lipa to a city known as Villa de Lipa and later authorized to use a coat of arms by the Royal Overseas Minister Don Victor Balaguer, at the celebration of the elevation of Lipa to a city in January 1888, Jose Rizal was invited by Dr. Jose Lozada, Catalino de Meuga and the brothers Celestino and Simeon Luz but Rizal responded only with his Himo al Trabajo which he dedicated to the zeal and industry of the Lipeños. The raising of cacao was introduced in Lipa by an Augustinian priest, Father Ignacio de Mercado, and that was the beginning of its cultivation throughout the Philippines. The Lipeños also engaged themselves in livestock raising and varied home crafts for men, and small industries, like weaving, embroidery and sewing for women. After World War II, citrus production prevailed until 1970 and, after its decline, about 1965, poultry and swine raising began to take roots and to thrive in no small degree until the present. The first newspaper in Batangas, published in Spanish, was the Lumabog Lumutang, printed in Lipa in 1889, and established by the well-known writers Cipriano Cala, Gregorio Catagbac, Benito Reyes, Hugo Latorre and Pedro Lego. Other pioneer Spanish writers were Bernardo Solis, Catalino de Meuga and Manuel Luz. During the Revolution, Gregorio Aguilera Solis edited a newspaper Colomés Voluntas de la Federación Malaya. This paper became the media for notable poems and literary works of Albino de Meuga, Baldomero Roxas, Luis Lina Kisson, Bernardo Solis, Benedicto Solis, Emiliano Mangat and Petronio Catagbac. Roman de Meuga wrote plays, while Pedro Lego published articles on domestic and international politics and Tomas Umali on military affairs. Hispanistas during the American regime included national figures like Teodoro Cala, Fidel Reyes, Arsenio Luz, Max B. Solis, Enrique Lego and Claro M. Recto. Lipeños also served in the Revolutionary Republic. These were Gregorio Aguilera who was delegate to the Malolos Congress, Seferino Pontoya, also a member of that Congress, José Lozada, as envoy to Washington, D.C. and Paris, and Cipriano Cala, the first vice president and treasurer of the Central Committee of Hong Kong. In the field of education, Father Valerio Malabanan was foremost among Lipeños who established schools. Others were Sebastian Viri, Jacinto Silva, Candido Lantan and Gregorio Catagbac. In 1894, Brigido Morata established his own school at his house in Mataz na Lupa. Under Father Valerio Malabanan were such well-known figures as Apolinario Mabina, General Miguel Malvar and Sotero Laurel. Sebastian Biri countered with such former students as the brothers Alfonso and Claro M. Recto, Fidel and Carmelo Reyes, Teodoro and Maximo Cala, Pacifico, José and Enrique Lego, and Manuel Luz Roxas, José D. de Meuga, Bernabe Africa, Pablo Borbón, Potenciano Malvar, Leoncio Aranda and Bishop Alfredo Obvier, the later school, perhaps marked for permanence by the enthusiastic patronage of its high standard maintained through the years since its founding in 1922 until the present, is the Mabina Academy established by Dr. Jose Ma. Catagbac, Randall A. Rowley, Tarsila Malabanan Catagbac and Emilia Malabanan. The fact that Lipeños, even up to the present, are very religious, may be attributed to the fact that Fr. 
Benito Barras, who was parish priest of Lipa for almost three decades, 1865 to 1894, has considered Villa de Lipa as his very own and had shown great paternal love for the Lipeños. He constructed the parish church, now Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Lipa, and a new and bigger cemetery with a beautiful chapel. Without aid from the state, he constructed the bridge at Sabong and the road that served as a national highway to Manila and Laguna. The Lipa Parish, established in 1716, became a diocesan center in 1910, included the provinces of Batangas, Laguna, Tayabas, Quezon, Marinduque and Mindoro, with Monsignor Jose Petrelli as the first bishop. On August 15, 1972, the diocese was raised to an ex-ecclesiastical province composed of Batangas Province and the dioceses of Lucena, Infanta and Calapan, with Monsignor Alejandro Olalia as the first archbishop. On August 31, 1947, Lipa was inaugurated as a chartered city created under Republic Act No. 162 approved on June 20, 1947. Geography Lipa covers an area of 20,940 hectares, 209.4 square kilometers, at an elevation of 1,025 feet, 312 meters above sea level. Lipa's fishing area is located at Barangay Haling, in the west of the city. It is actually a portion of Tall Lake, which is connected to other municipalities, Cuenca, Matasnacahoy, and Balet. Lipa is bounded by the town of Santo Tomas in the northeast, San Pablo of Laguna and San Antonio, Quezon in the east, the municipalities of Padre Garcia and Rosario in the southeast, the municipalities of Aban and San Jose in the southwest, the municipalities of Cuenca and Matasnacahoy and Tall Lake in the west and the municipalities of Belet and Malvar in the northwest. The city's location, in a valley between Mount Malarayat and Mount Makulat, makes it a low-risk area for natural disasters. These two mountains serve as a windbreak during typhoons. Mount Makulat, in the west, also served as shield during eruptions of the tall volcano. Barangays Lipa is subdivided into 72 barangays. San Jose was formerly known as Pate. In 1955, the sitios of Duhatan, Tagbacan, Initan, Malabong and Haling, then part of the Pinagtungolan barrio, became an independent barrio. In 1957, the sitios of Wanawani, Sayatan and Luk were moved from the Balet barrio to the barrio of Luk, the barangays are. Climate Lipa has a tropical monsoon climate, Köppen system, AM, under the Köppen climate classification, with a dry season between January and April, and rain for the rest of the year. The average yearly temperature is 25.6 degrees Celsius, 78.1 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest recorded temperature is 35.7 degrees Celsius, 96.3 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest recorded temperature is 16.4 degrees Celsius, 61.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Demographics The population of Lipa, Batangas, in the 2015 census was 332,386 people, with a density of 1,590 inhabitants per square kilometer or 4,100 inhabitants per square mile. Language Tagalog is the most widely spoken language in the city. English is the medium of instruction in schools and is widely understood and spoken especially in the business community and for official documents. Religion Catholicism Majority of the city's population are Roman Catholics, and the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Lipa today comprises the civil province of Batangas. Formed as the Diocese of Lipa on April 10, 1910, the Archdiocese once covered other provinces such as Batangas, Laguna, Quezon, Marinduque and Mindoro, with Most Reverend Joseph Petrelli, D.D. as the first bishop. Currently, the Archdiocese is divided into six vicariates, each headed by a vicar foreign. There are 49 parishes in all, served by 143 priests, 122 of which are diocesan, 13 religious brothers, and 197 religious sisters. There are also 23 existing Catholic schools, two high school seminaries, three college seminaries, and two pastoral centers. 
The church and monastery of Lipa is the location of a 1940s apparition of the Virgin Mary which was seen by Sister Teresine Castillo and numerous accounts of rose petal showers from the 1940s to the 1960s. Some of the rose petals, which had the silhouette of the Virgin Mary when flashed with light, have been preserved by the Diocese of Lipa and various townfolks who have witnessed the petal showers. An investigation conducted by researchers of the University of the Philippines proved that the figures on the petals were natural and not stamped by man-made means. A few years after the apparition of the Virgin Mary, the Vatican released a document stating that the apparition in Lipa was false. Despite this, the rose petal showers continued until the last apparition of Mary appeared, saying three things, of which the most important was to pray for China, which at the time was among the poorest regions in the world. Due to the decline of the Vatican regarding the apparition, the Diocese of Lipa ordered the destruction of Mary's statue in the church which depicted the apparition. However, the founding nuns of the church hid it instead. Decades afterwards in the 21st century, before the death of a founding nun, she wished for the statue of the apparition to be viewed by the public once more. Thousands of devotees went back to the church and since then, the statue has been in public view. During a certain event, the priest ordered a mass outside the church to bless the municipality of Lipa, where the apparition statue was brought outside as well. During that time, sun beatings from heaven, which was viewed by thousands of people during a mass outside the church, occurred. Devotees flock Lipa afterwards, where cures for blindness and terminal sickness were cured through the usage of prayers with the preserved petals from the petal showers of the 1940s to the 1960s. In 2014, it was later found out that most of the bishops who signed in favor of declaring the apparitions of the 1940s as a lie were forced to sign such documents. This sparked the current Lipa Church to gather as much evidence to back the existence and miracles of the apparitions. Protestants and other groups There are other Christian groups such as various Protestant denominations including Evangelicals, Born Again, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Members Church of God International MCGI, Kingdom of Jesus Christ, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventist, and The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Other religions include Islam and Buddhism. Economy Lipa's proximity to the country's capital, Manila, having an approximate distance of 86 kilometers or an hour and a half drive via the Southern Luzon Expressway enhances its strategic access to development trends. It is fast emerging as a key city in the province, becoming a major institutional, administrative center, medical center, commercial center, financial center, agro-industrial center and residential center. It is identified as an ideal hub and center of the CALABARZON agro-industrial region in the Regional Physical Framework Plan of Region 4A. In the recent past, Lipa is being transformed from an agrarian to an urbanized area. A significant portion of the agricultural land area of the city has been converted to residential subdivisions, industrial area with the establishment of Lima Technology Center utilizing lands in the city and Malvar municipality. Recently, the influx of business process outsourcing BPO, firms such as call centers have contributed much to the growth of the local economy. BPO sites are scattered throughout the city. It ranked 6th out of 10 in the top 10 next wave cities of 2010 by the Commission of Information and Communication Technology ICCT. Teletech Inc. pioneered the BPO company in Lipa City in 2006. Alorica followed after few years, the most recent BPO company is the results. Likewise, due to a very strategic location, Lipa City Market is comparatively busy than other neighboring towns. Thus it boasts a large quantity of market business. As a result, it attracts more customers from neighboring towns like Padre Garcia, Rosario, Aban, San Juan, Malvar, Tanawan, Mataz Nakahoit, Balet Cuenca, Lemery and Batangas. It is also noticeable that Lipa City is being home to new settlers from different regions. Muslims from Mindanao for example have settled in Lipa City, primarily due to growing economy. There are also settlers from Mindoro, Bicol, Quezon and other places. Likewise, there are many Koreans who established their business in Lipa. Furthermore, it is evident that Indian nationals are also an everyday sight. Culture Food 
Lipa is the home of Lomi. According to history, this is primarily due to the influence of early Chinese settlers. Lomi is cooked using raw noodles, cassava mixed with water, beaten egg, salt and pepper, meat, liver and other ingredients that make it tasty. Eventually, there are countless of variations of Lomi these days. The Lomi house is a very common place found in every barangay. However, there are a few recognized by the Lipanos, like Renfel, Kids Loma House, LBN, Bee Gees, Liam's to mention a few. Gotu is also a popular recipe. It is usually composed of internal organs of cows. This is a bowl of hot soup with beef, tripe, entrails, and blood, added with fish sauce and calamansi juice with chili. However, due to influx of culture from nearby provinces, Lipeños also enjoy new recipes like Sisig of Pampanga, and Bicol Express of Bicol. Due to Lipa's craze for food, several food courts have been established. Technology Lipa has few technologically advanced infrastructure. PKI is one of the advanced factories that pioneered the productions in Lipa City. Since it was established in Brigi, Inesluban, Lipa City was known to be an employment-friendly zone. This was followed by the establishment of Lima Industrial Park, which houses multiple production lines. It houses various companies that employ hundreds of production workers. Not only from the city proper, it hires employees from its nearby cities like Tanawan, Rosario, Batangas, San Jose, Malvar etc. Museums Museo de Lipa, inaugurated in November 2007, is the brainchild project of the Lipa City Tourism Council envisioned by its past president, Lucila R. Resurrecion. It provides a chance for the people of Lipa to have a historical journey back to the city's past. On display are antique mementos such as, the coffee corner, an exhibit of the different tools used in coffee production, Los trajes de mestizas and turnos, gowns worn by women during the pre-war days and during festive occasions, the Satsuma vase, a gift given by the Luna brothers to the unparalleled hospitality shown by the aristocratic couple Doña Germana Solis and Dr. José Lozada, and the office tables of Don Claro Mayo Recto and Mayor Carlos Solis, the 24-hour mayor. Other artifacts exhibited are certain collections of furniture and objects of art loaned and donated by different antique collectors and by some of the famous and landed gentry of Lipa, antique cabinets, tables, mirrors, antique silverware chinaware, tea sets, religious images and articles, jars, and brass artifacts. The ground floor serves as a function area and currently features works of several contemporary Lipeño visual artists. Religious monuments In 1605, Don Diego de Salcedo discovered a community of farmers living in fairly good economic conditions at Lake Bombon, now Tagbacan, Lipa City. The Augustinians among them started a religious mission called Convent of San Sebastian in Comentang. However, the residents noticed that the land area residential and agricultural was getting smaller due to the rising waters of Tall Lake, they transferred to Belet. But the site was submerged by the lake in 1754 after the eruption of Tall Volcano. To avoid a similar occurrence, the townsfolk decided to transfer the town to a place far from the lake and the volcano. Legend has it that they agreed to pray the rosary while walking and whenever they may be at the end of the 24th mystery, there the town would be relocated and they walked upland, away from the lake and the volcano, and at the end of the 24th mystery, they reached what is now called Mataz na Lupa. The temporary Poblacion and the church were thus resettled there. The location benefited everybody since it was along the main road that led to the coastal towns, the ground was high enough and the east winds were hedged in by high mountains. But after some time, the settlers had to seek another location due to the problem of water supple. The better site, is the present site of the cathedral. The Augustinians administered the parish until the end of the 19th century. The first church building was made of light materials. The building of serious architecture, proven solidity and great proportions, was begun in 1779 and finally completed in 1865, on the first year of Fr. Benito Vares who administered the town until 1894. The church was made of hewn stone and tiled roof, in accordance with the usual pattern of churches. 
It was a rectangular structure with artistically painted wooden panelings in lieu of an arch to which were attached support and strong beams which crisscrossed the walls to protect the building from earthquakes, attractive and hate plain and simple altar ornaments without the extravagant carvings that were characteristic of the past century. During the 19th century, keen competition among Tanawan, Lipa, Batangas, Baan and Tal for the choice of the seat of new diocese in the southern Tagalog region, with Batangas province at the center, motivated the people to build extraordinary big churches. On April 10, 1910, the historic creation of the new diocese took place and the first bishop, Most Rev. Joseph Petrelli, D.D. selected Lipa as the sea because of its cool climate. In later years, there were moves to transfer the see to San Pablo City but the late Bishop Alfredo Verzosa turned it down due to poor religious environment of San Pablo during that time. The church suffered heavily in 1944. Monsignor Alejandro Olalia repaired the facade, the dome, the transept, the roof, the main altar, and the belfry. The interior painting was retouched. Two side aisles were added. The church was awarded the title Cathedral of the Archdiocese incorporating Batangas Province during the administration of the late Rufino Cardinal Santos. Fr. Pedro G. Galend, OSA wrote that the emphasis of the edifice is placed on the mass, which appeals much more to the senses due to its harmonic organization. The three buildings, church, convent and bell tower are so closely associated with each other that they well exemplify the typical mission complex, at present, the 220-year-old cathedral and convent is undergoing massive restoration and repairs as an appropriate tribute to the Lord Jesus Christ on his 2000th birthday. Through the concerted efforts of the parish priest, Monsignor Alfredo A. Madling Bayan, and the San Sebastian Millennium Restoration Committee, the church facade and the belfry have been beautifully repainted, the pews are newly varnished, the ceiling and the roof of the dome have been repaired, the old and leaking roof of the church and convent are replaced with long span gi sheets, and there is a new altar at the vigil room. On account of the multitude of faithful gathering at the church during liturgical activities, especially for archdiocesan affairs, the sound system was also upgraded. Festivals In the previous years, Lipa City had the Coffee Festival as its official city festival being Coffee Granary of the Philippines. The Coffee Festival was then celebrated from December 11 to 16. Then Lipa also had the Wallistic Festival celebrated on the second week of January where Wally's Broom was used in costumes and props. Wallis symbolizes unity and this was what the Lipeños had in mind every time they celebrate Wallistic Festival. Now, Lipa City is celebrating Lomi Festival. Lomi, being one of the most popular dishes in this side of the province, Lipa City has quite a number of Lomi houses which never cease to entice people. Traditionally, however, Lipa City is celebrating Lipa City Town Fiesta annually every January 20. This is a date to celebrate the feast of their patron saint, Saint Sebastian. During the celebration, the main road of CM Recto is flocked with market stalls selling affordable items. Also peoples visit the Lipa City Cathedral to attend Mass. Houses prepare and serve food to visitors. Transportation Road networks Lipa has an extensive road network. The city is a transportation hub for Batangas and nearby provinces. National Highways and Expressways Lipa is served by a network of national highways and an expressway. The Southern Tagalog Arterial Road Star Tollway, connects the city with Batangas City, Tanawan and Santo Tomas, with a connection to South Luzon Expressway Slex, thereby linking the city with Calamba and Metro Manila. Jose P. Laurel Highway, or Ayala Highway, Route 4, on one portion, connects Lipa with the municipalities and cities of Malvar, Tanawan, Santo Tomas, and Calamba in the north and San Jose and Batangas City to the south. P. Torres Street or Lipa Padre Garcia Road, Route 431, links the city with Padre Garcia and also serves as a route to the municipalities Rosario and San Juan. Another highway, the Alaminos Lipa City Road, serves the northern barangays of the city, runs northeast to Alaminos, and serves as a route to the city with San Pablo in Laguna. Governor Feliciano P. Laviste Highway or Lipa Balet Road links Lipa with Balet. 
arterial roads. Claro M. Recto Avenue, General Luna Avenue, and B. Marada Avenue serve the city center or Poblacion. On the rural areas within the city boundary, arterial roads, like Lodolod Avenue, Santo Tomas Lipa Road and Lipa Aban Road, serve the barangays and also connect with nearby municipalities, like San Jose Batangas, Santo Tomas and Aban Batangas respectively. An arterial road running beside Fernando Air Base serves the municipality of Matasnacahoy. Public transportation Buses, vans, jeepneys, tricycles, and multicabs common means of transportation in the city. Large numbers of jeepneys ply their trade around the city, and are becoming the primary mode of transportation. A grand terminal built beside SM City Lipa Mall now serves as the city's central transport terminal. Local government like other cities in the Philippines, Lipa is governed by a mayor and vice mayor who are elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head who leads the city's departments in the execution of city ordinances and in the delivery of public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council that is composed of 13 members, 12 elected councillors and one ex officio office held by the Association of Barangay Chairman President as the Barangay Sector Representative. The council is in charge of creating the city's policies in the form of ordinances and resolutions. Pursuant to Chapter 2, Title 2, Book 3 of Republic Act No. 7160 or the Local Government Code of 1991, the city government is to be composed of a mayor Alcold, a vice mayor Bais Alcold, and members Kagawit, of the legislative branch Sangguniang Panlungsod alongside a secretary to the said legislature, all of which are elected to a three-year term and are eligible to run for three consecutive terms. As with every Philippine city, Lipa's chief executive is the city mayor. Elected to a term of three years and limited to three consecutive terms, he or she appoints the directors of each city department, which include the Office of Administration, Engineering Office, Information Office, Legal Office, and Treasury Office. The incumbent mayor is Maynardo A. Sibili, from the United Nationalist Alliance Party, who first served as provincial board member of the old 4th District of Batangas upon which Lipa was still part of that district from 1995 to 2001. He was first elected as mayor of Lipa in 2010 defeating incumbent mayor and former congressman Oscar Gozos, despite disqualification due to his residency. Sibili was formerly a resident of San Juan, Batangas, prior to being elected as mayor. The city's vice mayor performs duties as acting governor in the absence of the mayor. He or she also automatically succeeds as mayor upon the death of the incumbent. He or she also convenes the Sangguniang Panlungsod, the city's legislative body. The incumbent vice mayor of Lipa is Eric Africa from the Liberal Party. He first assumed office on 30 June 2013. He ran and was elected for a second term in 2016. Legislative. The city, which is a lone congressional district, is represented in the Philippine House of Representatives by Congresswoman Vilma Santos Recto from the Liberal Party. She first assumed office as city mayor from 1998 to 2007 where she became the first female chief executive. After finishing her term, she was elected as the first female governor of Batangas from 2007 to 2016. Within the city, the city board or Sangguniang Panlungsod crafts all city ordinances, performs appropriation of city funds, issues franchises and permits, impose fees on city services, and exercise other duties and powers as stipulated by the Local Government Code of 1991. Being a first-class city in terms of income, Lipa is entitled to a city board composed of 12 members. Education Lipa hosts a number of public and private universities such as the Batangas State University Claro M. Recto Campus, Colio ng Lungsod ng Lipa, the Mabina Academy, De La Salle Lipa, Lipa City Colleges, Canosa Academy Lipa, AMA Computer College, Philippine State College of Aeronautics, University of Batangas. ICT Ed Institute of Science and Technology, STI College and New Era University also hosts a campus in the city. Media 
Lipa has two local radio stations, Magic 88.7, DZUN, an adult contemporary oriented station, and CityBeat 102.3, DWKV, a music and talk radio station. Stations based in Batangas City and Metro Manila are mostly clearly received, except for some stations whose signals are affected by the local topography. AVCBN Southern Tagalog, AVCBN's regional television station, hosts its studios in Lipa. GMA Network and GMA News TV serve Lipa through relay stations at Bicol Region. Lipa has no locally published newspapers, but major newspapers marketed in Metro Manila reach the city through local distributors. References External links Official website of the Lipa City's Government Lipa City Tourism Council